Mm. I mean, this jungle. So, ooh, so many interesting things to see. Ooh. Ooh. Those are, what are those? That's, oh, so many bugs. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, let's see some more. Oh. Oh, uh, what are you doing in my territory? I, uh, I, I was just looking at bugs and who are you? This is my place, my territory. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, I'm very s s s sorry. Okay, yeah. let's watch out and we'll see what will happen to you uh, next. Oh, no! <gasps> TV KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Didet TV KPM and I am Mr. B. Oops, <laughs> I'm kidding. My name is Hanif Sean and now you are watching the slot of preschool. And of course, today we'll be learning together English. And you saw earlier there was a huge, there was a mama bee coming to join us. Huh? Do you want to know who our teacher is? Let's check out who she is. And yes, there you have it. You have seen our teacher's profile today and she's the Mama Bee, which is Teacher Rahma. Yes. Hello, Teacher Rahma. Hello, Hanif. How are you? I'm good. And you're looking like a bee, am I right? Yes. Ah, how interesting. And of course, Teacher Rahma, it's not just the both of us today here. We also have our sign language interpreter, Teacher Fati. Hello, Teacher Fati. Teacher Fati, I have a question for you. Do you like insects? Oh, I think she, she's not a fan as well, but that's all right. I think some of us love insects, some of us might be a bit scared of them. And Teacher Rama, are we going to learn about insects today? Yes. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to learn about insects. And, but I think before we start, did you tell me earlier that we're going to sing a song? You're right. Ah. We're going to sing, to sing the... Hello, Hello song. song. All right, all right, kids at home, come and join us. We're going to sing together. Let's hear the music. There you go. That was the hello song. I love that song, Teacher Rahma. Yeah. So again, are we going to learn about insects today? Yes, we are going to learn about the names of the insects. Hmm? Okay, we are going to learn more about the insects. Okay, insects are small creatures that has three body parts, six legs or three pairs of legs, a compound eyes and a pair of antenna. Oh, that is so cute. And if we can share with us uh, our objectives today. Okay. So today we are going to learn about my creepy crawly friends. Oh. Okay. And we are going to participate and talk about familiar activities and experiences about the insects. And we are going to blend the phonemes. We are going to spell the words. We are going to um, say 
the names of the insects and we are going to copy familiar words in legible print in our craft activity. Oh, that is interesting. We have craft yes. activities yes, after this. Yes, we have craft activity today. And did you really hope that by the end of the lesson, pupils can show appreciation that insects are important in our ecosystem and you can at least name five insects that you have learned today and create a caterpillar craft, spell the word and copy the word. Oh, that's wonderful. I think we have a lot in store for us to learn today, but we're going to take a short break. So while we take a short break, I'm going to continue exploring the insects, okay? Do not go anywhere. Mm -hmm. TV KPM. Ha! And now you are watching D Day TV KPM in the slot of preschool. And of course, we are learning English together. So I'm seeing a lot of bees here on this umbrella. What is going on? So let's ask our teacher. Hello, Teacher Rahma. Hello, honey. It's, I, I'm seeing a lot of bees here, and you're like the queen bee today. Okay. Ah. Bees are one kind of the insect okay so but we are not going to learn about bees only today we are going to learn about other insects also okay so can we start yes now, before we start our lesson i'm going to take me and i'll take you to sing a song we are have you a ready song yes to sing. yes i'm so. ready are you ready friends at home okay let's join us Okay. What is this song called, Teacher Rahma? It's the Bat Song. <laughs> Bat Song. Big bat, small bat, big bat, small bat. See them crawl up the wall. Creepy, creepy crawlies, creepy, creepy crawlies. Bat, bat, bat. Bats, bats, bats. Big bats, small bats, see them crawl, see the wall. Creepy, creepy crawlies, creepy, creepy crawlies. Bats, 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 bats. So, that was a very fun song, Teacher Rahma, and I'm sure our friends at home, they were singing along as well. And uh, I think they enjoyed the song too. No, we definitely did. Okay, so now we are going to we are going to learn about insects one by one. Are you ready, Ani? Yes, I am. Okay, now let's start with the first one. Okay, I'll take which, which one, one? Will be the first one. Teacher Rama, I see a grasshopper. Is that a grasshopper? Oh, I don't Something. think so. Oh no, it's not. Then this is. Oh no, what is this, Teacher Rama? Do you know what is that? Hmm, I think it can fly because it has wings. Yes. And what is the name, Teacher Rama? Okay, it is called a dragonfly. A dragonfly. A dragonfly. Okay, dragonfly. Okay, let's spell together. Sure. D R A. D R A. G O N. G O N. F L Y. F L Y. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Again, D R A. D R A. G O N. G O N. F L Y. F L Y. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Okay, the dragonfly is flying here. All right, you're good. <laughs> okay, now can 
Do you, can you show, uh, give me back the dragonfly? Here you I'll go, show you. Okay. Insects have three parts of the body. Okay, they have the head. This is the head. The second segment is the thorax. It is called the thorax. And the third part is called the abdomen. Okay, it's called the abdomen. Okay, now we have learned about and oh. I forgot to tell you. Okay, this is the. These are the legs of the dragonfly. You have many legs. How many teacher, legs? Ma? Can you count? Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Very legs. Very good. Six legs. Okay. Insects have three. Uh, three pairs of legs, or it's. If you count, there are six, six in total. Legs. Okay, now. The second one. Ah, I'm um, seeing a very beautiful one over there. Is this a butterfly, Teacher Rama? Yes, it's a beautiful very good. butterfly yeah. there. Wow. Okay, what is the color of the butterfly? A butterfly. Well, this is yellow, and a tinge of orange. Yes, you're right. Okay, now let's play. Let's spell butterfly. All right. B U T. B U T T E R T E R F L Y F L Y Butterfly Butterfly Again Can you spell it on sure. your own? Sure. Let's do it together with me. B U T T T E R F L Y Very good. Butterfly. Yes. Okay, now let's move to the next one. Yes, the next one. I see a green creature here. Green and? Huh, it's green and yellow. But what is this, Teacher Rahma? I know this it jumps. Is, yeah, it jumps. It jumps. Yeah, it hops. It hops. It yeah, hops. it yes. hops <laughs> in. Yeah. Okay, it is called a grasshopper. A grasshopper. It yes, hops in the grass. Yes. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Let's spell the word. For our grasshopper, G R A S S G R A S S H O P H O P P E R P E R Grasshopper Grasshopper Okay, now let's move to the, the next one. Okay, okay, what is the next one? Ooh, I see it there. <laughs> Can I touch it? Can okay, I touch yes. it? Yes. Slowly. Ah. And this. I, uh, I know I've seen this at tiny creature. Home. This tiny creature is called cockroach. Oh, yes. A cockroach. Do you like cockroach? I have seen them running around in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, let's spell cockroach. C-O-C-K. C-O-C-K. R-O-A. R-O-A. C-H. C-H. Cockroach. Cockroach. Okay, let's go very fast. Ooh, okay, the next one. Next I'll take one. this one. Oh, this is a big one, but it is an ant. Ah. This is an ant. ant. This is an ant. A N T. Ant. A N T. Ant. ant. All right. The ant. You see. You can see here. It has a head. This is the thorax. The second, the middle part, and the last part is the is the abdomen. Okay. This is called the abdomen. Okay. Let's spell ant. A N T. Very and. good. Yes. Right. One more time. Okay, together with me. A and T. Very and. good. And. Ah. Okay, next oh, one. Oh, okay, what do you have? That's a big, big one oh. there. And I can guess. I've seen this before. This is called a beetle. Is that Very right? Very good. You, you get it right. Okay, that's spelled beetle. B E. E B E E T L E T L E Beetle Beetle B E E B E E T L E T L E Beetle Beetle Very good Wonderful Can and we have another one? We have one last one and I can see it there's one here. Okay. There's one there. Okay, I'm going to take that the small one. That is the baby one. That's a little one. Yes. Is What is this, Teacher Rahma? This is called a bee. It's a bee. Oh, this is our friend from the beginning. Okay, bee. let's spell bee. All right, let's spell bee together. 
B E E B. Good. B E E B. Very good. Ah. And do you find it difficult to spell B? I think it's very easy. It's yes. B E E. Yes, it's B E E. It's for B. Ah. Okay. See, B has a pair of wings, like the other insects. A B has head, thorax, and this is the abdomen. Okay, if you can see it, this is the abdomen and it has three pairs of legs or six legs. Okay, can you repeat what we have learned? Yes. The names of the insects? We have a dragonfly. Very good. We have a butterfly, which okay, is over there. Yeah, we have a grasshopper. Very good. There's a cockroach there. Yeah, yes. There's an ant, a big and there okay and a beetle yeah and a bee where is the bee there you go yeah. there's the bee i have another one i have another one and yeah. you can see on my umbrella there are a lot of bees here so while i still learn how to spell and recognize these insects we are going to take a short break don't go anywhere stay tuned with us on direct tv kpm <laughs> KPM And hello Ladybird What are you doing here? Oh, hello everyone You are now watching d -Day TV KPM in the preschool slot And today we're learning English together And I was just playing with my little Ladybird So I'm going to keep her safe in my pocket here And of course we have Teacher Rama Teacher Rama, what are we going to do together in this segment? Okay, for this segment, we are going to um, create a caterpillar craft. We're going to create a caterpillar? Yes. Caterpillar, yes. is that the one that will turn into a beautiful butterfly? Yes, caterpillar is the baby insect. Oh, okay. it's a baby insect. It's a baby insect. Okay, for this segment, we are going to create a caterpillar craft using papers. Okay, ah. using papers. I have colored papers with me okay we can use any color any colors or maybe you can just use a plain white paper then you need uh, you have to draw lines and I, I already draw lines for you okay I already like draw lines for you and we are going to cut these lines using a pen knife but please make sure you have to use it carefully or you can seek help from your parents or your teachers okay and don't play with this sharp knife it's very dangerous okay and then we need a ruler to use it to cut um, nicely then we need straws to make the caterpillar's leg okay and we also need a glue to paste the two sheets of the papers it um, when we want to fold it to become a nice butterfly okay are you ready yes teacher i'm so ready and of course teacher as you said it's very important that we be very careful yes when we use the blade please have your parents around yes okay and now you know what teacher i just yeah. realized we have straws. You can mm. also recycle old straws or used straws so we can also save the environment. And we can also reuse the straw. Reuse the straws. Okay. Wonderful. Yes. All right. Are you all mm. ready to start? Shall we start, Teacher Rama? Yes, come. Let's move it. All right. Now, use the, take the paper, put on the, I forgot to tell you just now, we need some block paper or something that is hard 
for you to put on top before you cut so that you didn't cut you won't cut the table okay and now let's use the ruler to cut the lines cut across the lines okay one by one slowly okay Slowly, be, be careful. careful. Follow the line Follow in a the straight lines. line. Yes. Ah. Yes. And okay, and you can also count as you count the lines. That is One, right. I two, think I've three, four, five. I've already cut three lines, Whoa. teacher Rahma. You're fast. Yes, and I'm very cautious here. I keep my fingers away from the blade and it's only a line with very the ruler. Very good. Yes, we ah. have to take precaution what? when we use sharp materials. Sh yes, and to Jeremiah, I'm very curious. How would this look like later? Because we're just cutting straight lines. And how does that turn into a caterpillar? Okay, it's a secret. Oh no, Dijerama is keeping a secret from us. Okay, right. so I'm almost there. Almost there. Okay, I finished. Oh. Yes. Ah, oh, wonderful, yes. Okay. Next, you have to put the gum or the glue and along and the back of the paper. One straight line. Do we put it at the top or on um, both? Or just put it at the top? Ah, yeah, One put it at the top. Line. Okay. Yeah, putting my glue. And this should stick very well. Okay, uh, next. I'm putting a bit more to Charama so that our caterpillar is strong and firm. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay, next. Just fold and I will the fold. part that you have put the gum to the and white paper and which the other. is at the other side. Okay, uh -oh. so I'm folding it to make sure that okay, it looks neat. Okay, let me <laughs> show you. Oh, do it very carefully and cautiously. So I'm yes, trying my I best did it. to make it very neat. Huh? Yes, this is. This is it. Okay. Ah, so we got a bit of a like a circle here, Teacher Rama. Yeah, you're right. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Look at what I can now, do with this. So I have a caterpillar on my head, but it's not done yet. It's not done yet, yes. Now, let's so put the lid. Right. And this is where we use the straws. You can also use the... Uh, you must use the double-sided tape. Use the double-sided tape. I mm -hmm. have some ready here. Okay, very good. You can use double-sided tape where... I think... How do we paste this on, Teacher Rama? At the back of the... Um, no, at the bottom. At the bottom. Yeah, at the bottom. Okay, so and I'm going to paste it there. Another one. For the and other leg. We have one more. Ah, how are you all doing at home? Are you all following the steps carefully? Ah, you got to follow and it very lastly, carefully. I have to be very fast. Yes. And lastly, uh oh, it's coming out. Oops, okay. So I got this done. And, ha, huh, so I've done with my straws. And you have to paste the face of the, the caterpillar. Face. Ah. That's such a cute caterpillar face I have here. Smiling. A smiling, smiling caterpillar. Okay. Very good. So, I'm pasting the face on. So, I'm pasting the face on. Yeah. And there you go. You're is. almost there. Oops. Yay. So, I think I have my caterpillar done. Wonderful. And, Teacher okay, Rama, while we, while we finish and just complete our project here, uh -huh. can we get... Can you tell us again or we repeat what we learned together today? Okay. All right. From the beginning, the first lesson, we learned about the insects. Insects are small creatures. Insects have three parts of the body, which are the head, the thorax and the abdomen. Okay. And insects have uh, six legs. Insects have a pair of wings. Insects can fly. Most insects can fly. And in this segment, we have learned about how to create a caterpillar 
craft. All right. Okay. Very wonderful with that. I hope all of you have achieved to create our caterpillar here. And with that, we'd like to thank Teacher Rahma for such an amazing lesson today. Thank you so much, Teacher You're Rahma. Welcome. And of course, thank you as well to our sign language interpreter, Teacher Fatih. And to our pupils at home, thank you so much for tuning in today into Didate TV KPM. I'm sure you have learned a lot with us. And we hope to see you again, okay, on Didate TV KPM. Bye, everyone. Please in grass. 